previously on the season. You have to be connected. You know what you've got to do, play basketball. Now you've got to know why you've got to play it. So this is the game that you are going to be showing me that, hey, we are here just to annihilate. What about all the things we talked about? Communicate. No answers. All right, how are we feeling? Anybody nervous? No? I'm a bit nervous. This team is a little bit different than most. They play with a lot of guards, okay? So they're gonna play a faster game. Be very careful, they're very good at penetrating the dish for layups or threes. We're really good at running. We can't run without the ball, okay? So box out, get the ball to our guards, push, all right, we want to get to the line. What do I want you guys to bring? What do you guys need to bring to the table? Effort and energy. Effort and energy. All right, when you're out there, take care of itself. You've got to bring that all the time. If you feel like you're dying in it, put your hand up. It's been a long time waiting. Hello! Hello, Chris! Just, just. Back, back, Mickey, back, Jane. Hey, stop just running to your man. You got to see the runner. Stay, Mickey. Good D. Oh, it's not a good call. Back, back, back. Come on, Mickey, get back. Mickey, come on. Mickey, rebound. Nice, Katie. Yay, Katie. Easy. Go, go, run with it. Run with it, Jade. What is that? Charlie! Let Shauna go get her. Go. Charlie! Hands up! I know, but you don't have your arms on them, she's saying. It looks like a hold. Stay up, stay up, Shauna! Stay up, up, Licky! 816! Yay! Good job. So if they're in a zone. Like they were in the zone, right? They just switched guard guard up top. You gotta to call Huskies. Okay. Right. Swing it! Eight, seven, six, six. five, four! Hey, Aren't you sprinting hard, hard as you can seeing these people? The girls take a slim lead into half time. Do you reckon they'll win? Yeah, they'll run out of steam in a minute. And head of college, Jeff Davis, isn't relaxing just yet. The girls have a mana title before, I remember. Yeah. Can't stop, box out. You guys, every time we put a shot up there, it looks like you're taking forever to get home. Everybody. Forever. We need that effort. Ball's on the ring up there, everybody stops, she runs past, smallest girl on the team, gets a layup. That's on you guys. That's that effort and energy. Come on, score! Nine, eight! Shot. Yeah, Layla! Yeah, Layla! Oh, pass! Pass, pass, Katie! Nine, Charlie, well played, Katie. Quick one, quick one. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Well played, Charlie. Nice. 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 Hey, awesome job. Awesome. 
Sean, an awesome job down there cleaning the boards. All right? This next two, three minutes, we can put this away. Okay. All right? Be tough. Make those right decisions for each other. Let's go. Take your time. Say hi, Lalo. Say hi. Hey! Out wide, Jade. Come on, Jade. It's in. Nice, Jade! Yeah, Katie. Oh, pass! Nice! The final two quarters are near perfection. And with the game almost out of reach, it's time to look to the future. Jess. Energy. Jade. One more, one more. Jess, Jade. 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 Let's go, Reese. Nice. Yeah, nice. Go, Jess. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think I quite understood what it really meant. It was like, oh, yeah, we won. But then you look back and you reflect and what a big achievement is. How only, you know, select few teams and select few people ever get to experience something like that. Oh, got one finally. I oh, know. Good job, coach. Good job, good job. Yeah, I did well. They did well. Happy for you girls. Good job, Lil. Good job, Katie. Awesome, thank you so much, girls. This year's been a tough year. You know, everyone's got Let's get on. Hardy saw a lot of us as a group of 12, 13, had all our injuries. Abs, where's Abby? <laughs> I need my glasses. <laughs> Abs, when she went down, then we kind of lost Katie for a while with her Aussie stuff and her back stuff. Then Lil's knee, just the Layla playing volleyball to egg. Just see all guys commitment in their last game was awesome, right? You guys deserve it, it's been a long time coming. It was a crazy experience, Pero really pushed everyone together and the team chemistry that the girls have because of even the coaches' influences is crazy, which is I think why we have such great success. Uh, when we started 2019, there was no doubt in my mind that those girls would win. I'd seen them grow and develop so closely and they were so connected um, during that year uh, that I didn't have a shadow of a doubt in my mind that we weren't going to win that championship. With the Queensland State title still fresh in the memory, the squad travels south to Melbourne with the girls in peak physical shape. But Coach Cameron calls a team meeting to engage the girls on a psychological level. Okay, so we're gonna do a little uh, group session right now. Uh, I'll start it off. What you gotta do is talk about the person to your left, about something great they do for the team. This is Sue, she's our manager and she is very organised and great for me. Uh, obviously you know Abby and Bree, you know, I've coached them in the past years. She organises everything for me and allows me just to come on in and basically just coach. Uh, she organises everything for you girls and also she's another kind of way if things aren't working when I talk to you guys I can go through Sue because she understands young ladies better than me. Mickey. <laughs> um just <laughs> <laughs> just say something. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Mickey, your energy and just everything that you bring. Like whenever the like we're on the court and everything, is we're all flat or down, you always bring it up and bring keep the energy up and the positivity. A killer shooter always goes in. <laughs> <laughs> The departure of Katie Diebel to Canberra has opened the door to Olivia Parnaby, a player on the brink of the senior squad who has been selected to step up for the biggest school tournament in the country. I mean, this is your first time, but you you just fit with our group, you know, and that's something special that you bring to the team. Uh, obviously, your length and your size and your witty comments that you always have <laughs> that we appreciate. and. Um, yeah, we love you being part of our group and um, we wouldn't have anyone else. So thank you for joining us, making that step up. Um, tomorrow, we've got an eight o'clock game. Uh, does anybody know anything about this team we're playing? A lot of research done, huh? Your last four to six weeks have been very busy. We've had Girls leaving, you've had your schoolies, you've had your formals, where you guys all got dressed up, that was cool. What happened last year in the, in the uh, tournament here? Can anybody remember? All that. We got tired by the end of the tournament. Cool. Uh, Charlie would like you to set us a, uh, a goal. Like, where do you think this group can go? It's, we had this discussion at the start of the year. Like an end goal, like a place, or like, yeah, for this tournament. Like a team goal or like where team you think goal. we'll place? Team goal. Um, I think the big one would be to keep the same chemistry that we had from state champs because I think that's what pulled us through the tournament. So I think that should be our main goal, to keep up the chemistry throughout like each day. And when we get tired, you know, get if we get moody or whatever, like just keep together and push through. Uh, when you go back to your rooms tonight, just by yourselves, I'd like you to write down in your phone or something, how are you going to prepare, you know, for the semis and finals. We've got games leading all the way up there. I just want you guys to have that back of your mind and then we'll go back to it when we get there. Hands in. Mickey. Oh. He'll what? Oh, I got way too much. It's bulking season. Oh, um, what have I done? Can you not see how much food I got on my plate, please? I got it way too much. Unless you want to be on like a date and we can face each other. Like, <laughs> I hope we have. We better have like lasagna one night. Hey? I know. How do you reckon we'll go? Uh, I don't know. I didn't know there was a whole AIS team though. I think it would be like five or like four good like AIS people. Just Google it. It's the furthest we've come as a team, like we won state champs and this is the strongest team that we've had in a long time. Um, so I think it's really important that we show how good Hillcrest basketball is and what the girls are capable of. Are we going to be the only ones up tomorrow? Are we going to be the only ones up early tomorrow? I think so, we're the only ones with like an early game. I think so. Yeah, the boys are at like 12. And they've only got one game. On the court, I mean, there's six, seven games. You get tired pretty easily. We're a team of eight which is really tough already, um, but I feel like with girls you can't let previous games affect the games to come because there's so many. So if you have a bad game you kind of just have to brush it off and get ready for the next five or six games because, I mean, that's a hard thing for girls. I think we'll be so fine because it's like when we work together and like pass all around it, and if everyone's switched on, if everyone's switched on it's over for the other teams. <laughs> I think it's so much fun. It's one of my favourite things to do is Especially when you get to stay together somewhere else with the girls, you get to drive to and from places with the girls. It's so much fun. I don't find it like a chore to be together all the time. I gotta stand up for Katie, man. It is the final swan song for both Andrade and Reese. Both players keen to exit the national championship on their own terms. I mean, just to do our best and show what we really can do. We don't know what the competition is like. Um, so we need to do our best and show what we really can do. If that's winning the whole thing, then I think we're capable of that. But if it's not, then at least we've shown everyone what we can do.
What's up, guys? Kevin. Pure. Cameron. Oh, nice name. Pure. All the best for the game today. Cheers, fellas. Have All a good right. one. If you have any questions during a dead period, we're happy to answer. Put my hand up nicely. I'm sure I chucked them in my three pins and blue and black. The one this morning didn't go back in that bag, so I just Me. went. Me. <laughs> Because you're out of shocker with those things. I'm going to just take them direct. Shawnee, you'll really want you to look for Lily's layup. Charlie, get that good angle. Okay, just throw that lead pass here. Watch out for Layla's man. Layla, don't be in the corner. Come over here. Let's go, girls. Here it is. This side, Lily, get over here. Lily, this side. Nice, go Lil, go, go! Wheels, wheels, go! Oh, travel! Yeah, well done! Shauna, little boost when you switch. A support team of parents and family have travelled south for the biggest tournament of the year. National championships can be won and lost in a single moment, but the away support will galvanise the team. Look, we're getting switches up top, but you're trying to throw it into our big around this area. Let them get down there established. Wait till they post up their guard down there. Throw it to the wing. Now we go in. Be patient. Here we go. All right, let's go. The Canberra-based opposition are one of the tournament favourites. But Hillcrest are matching them in all departments, pulling away to an eight-point lead. Good job, girls. Good job. Shauna, awesome. we still got to contest the shots. No layups. No layups. Right? That one girl up front, she's going for steals and she's getting them. Mickey, hmm? keep shooting with confidence. Lake Ganandera boasts a number of Institute of Sports players and it shows in the dogged performance during the third quarter with the scores edge closer. Did we print that quarter? Sorry, I forgot to ask you. Yes, Jordan brought it down. Oh, thank you, thank you. Fouls, 24. How many? Go home, Mickey. Fouls on 24. Oh my uh, Charlie Reese continues to be targeted in close contact with no sympathy from the officials. Hey, you got to call the fouls. I'm just asking you got to call the fouls. It's an easy call. Easy call. Get Jonah! Corner, Layla, corner. Corner, Layla. Go, go, go. Shot. Oh! Hand! Hand! Hey, how many timeouts have I got? We'll have one, thank you. Mickey, you're throwing a ball. In. I want Shauna here. So you're going to come around here, Lil, and run all the way this way. All right, uh, you're going to set the screen here. Who's Olivia? Olivia? Who's Big Liv? You're going to be in there here. No, no, Shauna, you're here. Just standing there. Lily's going back this way. Shauna. With seconds on the clock and a lead of only three points, nothing can be left to chance. Team on three. Mickey, you have to throw it. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Mickey, back! Good job, girls. All right, thanks. Good job. Way to play. Let's shoot. Good job, girls. Grab your bags. Over here. Have a stretch. Grab your bags. Let's go. That was, that's our best one ever. Oh, yeah? That yeah. was good. That was good. Yeah. Alright, right, we're going to stretch, sit down, great game, stretching. Try Rishi. Try Liv. Try Lay. 
Oh, oh, Charles Briggs. <laughs> hey, when we go, don't leave a mess, eh? The win has settled nerves, but also reminded members of the squad about the importance of representing the school on a national level. Oh my gosh, Sue! <laughs> <laughs> I've been there since I was in grade seven or eight, and they've really helped me shape who I am as a player and as a person. There's a lot of support around me. I have good coaches, good friends, and I just think that it's a really good community around me, and it just helps me perform to my best of my ability. It looks like, yeah. Are you crying? <laughs> I think touring with my friends on this trip is really important to me as it's my last year. So this is the last time I'll ever play with most of these girls. So I'm just trying to make the most of it and have like the most fun I can as well as trying to stay focused. Three minutes on the clock. They do yeah. three minutes each ball and they do three rounds. Clock yeah. resets to that each time. It yeah. five seconds to change balls before it starts to count down again. So three, 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 three times. All up. I like playing basketball because it's really unpredictable and you never know what each game will bring. Um, we thought that one team would smash us, they had really good stats and we just came out and just played really well as a team and we just worked together and we managed to beat them. <laughs> So I think basketball for me is just a lot of fun and I just love hanging out with my friends. For Mickey Franklin and the other year 12s, every experience will be their last for the school. Can a national title be added to the accolade? Next time on The Season. If we come top four, we're in the semis. Coming and playing with them is obviously quite hard. Great day, great day, great day. Oh, oh, oh. Are there beaches in Melbourne? Yeah, but I don't think it's swimming though. We got a big game tomorrow against St. Luke's. Our goal of making top fours is right there. Rebound, oh. For more information about Hillcrest Christian College, visit hillcrestqld.edu.au. In 2019, cameras followed the Brisbane Boys College First 15 during the most anticipated season in their history. We don't have a great record of success out of all the GPS schools. We haven't won it since 1954. No team's ever won an outright premiership at BDC. The season documented the team as they fell agonisingly short of their maiden outright title. What a hit! You can't throw it out, it's a penalty! Stop, we could have won! But in the fragmented year that followed for sport, the BBC story was not quite complete. Join us for the final chapter of a victory 100 years in the making. <laughs>